If I had a penny for every time I'd used a VLOOKUP at work, I'd be rich. This formula is something that you will use in Excel every day without fail. The best way to start off explaining what this formula does is with an example. Let's say you have two lists of people. One list contains their name and gender, and the second list contains their name and weight. You want to have a single list with their name, gender, and weight, but the names are in different orders in each list. A VLOOKUP will refer to one list and then scan the second list for a matching name and return the value you specify. Here are the specifics you need to keep in mind when doing a VLOOKUP. The first cell you're going to specify will be the value you want to find a match for. In this case, we'll start off the formula by typing equals v lookup, open parenthesis, and the cell we want to find a match for is in column A that contains the names. Then we'll press comma. The second piece of the formula will specify the range of cells that contains first the value you want to find a match for and after the corresponding value you want returned once you find a match. The first column in this range of cells must be the column that contains the field you're trying to find a match in, and then the column that contains the value you want returned needs to be after it, but it doesn't need to be immediately after it. There can be other columns in between. For example, we want this selection of cells to start with the column that contains names. In this case, it's column E, and we want the weight returned, and in this case, it's column F. And we want to highlight the entire group of these cells because we want the formula to scan column E for a match. The third piece of the formula will specify which column contains the value you want returned as a count from the first column in the range. In this case, we would consider column E to be the first column, and then column F to be the second column. And since F contains the values we want returned, we would just type number two, and then close parenthesis. Here's a quick tip. Often, you'll need to add the dollar sign symbol to the cell range you specify to keep the range from moving if you drag the formula down or across to multiple cells. So in our example, we would want to go to the formula and since E2 through F4 is our range, we would want to add a dollar sign before the E, the 2, the F, and the 4. So what this will do, if I drag the formula down to the other two names in the list, the range of cells that we're referencing stays the same. Another tip is I almost always add one more piece to the formula, and that is false. If you add false to the end of your formula, this ensures that when Excel is trying to find the match you specified in the formula, that it will only return a value for exact matches. So in our formula, at the very end after the two, we would want to add comma false. And this will ensure that only exact matches from column A will return a value in column C. Once you understand the concept of VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs will be a breeze. While the VLOOKUP scan top to bottom, vertically, hence the V, HLOOKUPs will scan left to right, horizontally, hence the H. The structure of the formula is exactly the same. Try to do an HLOOKUP on your own with the sample data I provided before looking at how I did it. 
Remember, the formula will look like this. Equals H lookup, open parenthesis, the cell you want to match, comma, the range of cells that starts with the row you want to find a match in and ends with the field you want returned, comma, the row count from the first row in the range that you want the returned value to come from, comma, false, close parenthesis. After you've tried it yourself, look at my example to compare. I want to touch on one more tip before moving on to combining formulas in the next lecture. When using a VLOOKUP, if there are multiple matches in the range you've selected, the formula will return the value that corresponds to the first match it finds, going top to bottom or left to right. This is very important to keep in mind when using this formula to ensure that you understand the results. But if you close your eyes